Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Oh. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Oh no, we're babysitting the baby in yellow again? Like, we didn't learn our lesson the first time? I guess not. The sitter says it's time for bed. And the child's like, I'm not going. Uh, that's because the baby in yellow is evil. I feel like, I feel like he's not really evil. It's just, there's like, oh no, no, I changed my mind. <laughs> After I saw those eyes again, I'm like, yeah, that baby is so evil. Um, well, oh huh. yeah, let's pick up the baby. Yeah, let, let's pick him up. He's so cute, not. <laughs> Three sick souls? Um, okay. Run. Whoa! A soul is trapped by the baby in yellow? Uh, yeah, remember how we said maybe the baby's not that evil? No, no, no. Baby's evil. Baby in yellow. You are so evil. All right. Um, there's a lot of souls that need to be released. All right, let's see if I can find some more souls. Where would the baby in yellow keep a trapped soul? Oh, look at all this food. I'm del I'm super hungry and it all looks delicious. Let's feed the baby. Maybe it'll be less evil. Ah, uh, no, that smile makes it more evil looking. Ew! I smell stinky dude and yeah! Oh, you smell bad. Why am I your babysitter again? <laughs> Should've gotten a job at Star Starbucks or something. Oh, there's another soul. Um, every time you unlock a soul, it tells you, like, run, hide, do things, because that'll make you survive. <laughs> that should be the third one. Run, hide, do things to help you survive. <laughs> Molly, don't shake the baby. What's wrong with you? Well, the baby's, like, a little bit chubby, so I'm having trouble carrying it. All right, you're going to bed. And I'm locking the door and swallowing the key. What? There's oh, footprints on the floor. Oh my god, I dropped the baby! Oopsie. <laughs> Way to go, Molly. Holy guacamole, you dropped the baby. No wonder it's evil. It has brain damage now. Is this from like Blue's Clues or Blue's Clues, Blue's Clues? No, I think it's the cats. You gotta free the souls. Whoa! That was so creepy. Oh gosh, I, we should stop playing this game. A curiosity in July, following such a sweet spring, it started when I took this job, but I was not the first. They are with me. Who is with him? Molly, I think that's the other babysitters or nannies. I think, I think that this kid has captured their souls. All right, let's go check on this kid. You want to read this book, The Prince and the Cat, or whatever, kid? Run. Oh, that soul said run, too. Oh, look at, there's like a... <laughs> look at the baby in yellow plushie. Oh, order now. La, 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 la. Support team terrible. Um, okay, well, that, that was a cool advertisement, I have to say. I mean, really, it was. The plushies are adorable. Let's throw it through the basketball hoop. <laughs> There's a cat plushie, a rabbit plushie. I guess I've got to read you this crummy book. Okay, once upon a time. Across the shore. In distant lands, with dark stars overhead, the prince was fast asleep until a cat jumped on his bed. I found a secret garden, said the cat with much delight. Excitedly, they ran outside, explorers in the night. 
They walked through the golden garden gate. Look at the pretty trees. They walked along. Wow, the this book is pretty path. good. Look at the colorful flowers. They walked past the fabulous flowing fountain. Look at the dancing water. Look, look, look. I'm kind of bored. Dizzy, whoa, but what's this? But the prince didn't like the garden and started kicking down the trees. He dug up flowers, grabbed the hedges, and pulled off all the leaves. He ruined everything for fun. The cat watched on in fear. What a mistake I made, the cat cried out. I should never have brought him here. That's the baby in yellow! Is he really a prince? I don't know, but... Wait, is the baby sleeping? cute when he's asleep. I wouldn't count on him being normal. I would like not psycho though. This is the baby in yellow game. I don't trust it. <laughs> yeah, me either. Well, I guess we could chill out on the sofa. Ugh, I'm feeling kind of tired. Ali, I don't think we should fall asleep. <gasps> See, the baby's awake. It's okay, creepy baby in yellow. I'm coming. Wait. Where's the, where's the baby? Oh, no, that's the plushie. That's not the baby. I'm afraid to look right now because the baby's always creepy. The key to secrets? What secrets? Those secrets, Molly. What is this? Oh, my gosh. Let's pick up the baby first. Oh, there, there. Everything's okay, baby creepy. I mean, baby in yellow. <laughs> All right, you should not be out of your bed. Get in your bed. Well, the mouth looks creepy on that baby. Hmm, what does it want? Maybe a cat plushie. Oh, that made him happy. All right, there you go. Now go back to sleep. Now we're going to go up into the attic. I just hope things aren't too creepy up here. Molly, these paintings don't look very normal. What is this place? It doesn't look like a normal attic where Grandma stores her Christmas decorations, that's for sure. What? Look closer? Oh god, it's gonna be scary. Molly, where are we? I don't know. It's like we're going to see some cat out in the universe. The black cat approaches? Soon. Some sort of clue there. Well, it is 2022, so. That was really weird. Well, Molly, at least we've done that part of the game and we didn't get too scared. That's a bonus. Yeah, in this game, that's definitely a bonus. Unless you like getting scared and then keep watching because you probably will be. All right, let's go chill out and watch some TV. Let's not fall asleep, though. As the game goes on, the baby in yellow gets eviler and eviler. I can't help it. Ugh, so tired. Oh, Molly, we made it to night two. The child, look, look, isn't it funny? The sitter, I told you not to do that. Where's the baby? Uh, Molly, I don't know. Is there any cupcakes here? I'm starting to get really hungry. Molly, you can't just eat the baby in yellow's cupcakes. Whoa, there's the baby in yellow sitting on the couch. Oh, get feed the baby, get a bottle from the fridge. All right, I could do that. Don't be naughty while I'm gone. I don't know why I'm opening the oven. I'm kind of just like, I'm looking for cupcakes and... Molly, just, just, oh wait, there's a soul. Hide. 
Is there any more souls up here? No, no, I don't see any, Molly. Cooking for nappies? What? Eat your inner demons? Speak no cooking, hear no cooking, see no cooking? What? Eat your inner demons. Okay, that just sounds weird. Molly, just get in the fridge and get the baby its bottle before it goes cray cray. Wait, did, did I actually take the bottle? No. Someone else did. What, wait, now the door's locked? Why is it locking me in the kitchen? Because the baby is evil. It's playing games on me. It's playing tricks on me. Oh, wait, there it is. Okay, you little brat. Here's your bottle. Um, reputations and how to repair them. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Wait. Oh, there he is in his high chair. Good baby. Try not to steal my soul. Oh, man, he pooped again. Oh, this kid is a pooping machine. Right? He totally is. All right, you stay there. I've got to go get a diaper. <laughs> the diaper has a face. Oh my gosh, the diaper's like taken off. I wouldn't want to be on that baby's booty either. Wait, what's it doing in the kitchen? Did it go in the oven? Wait, wait. Get back here, you naughty little diaper! <laughs> okay, this part's kind of funny. He's being a brat, you naughty nappy! A naughty nappy, that's hilarious. Oh, man, he knocked himself out! Oh, Molly, there's a soul. Run. Oh, we can find the toy boxes in the house now. Oh, look at these sketches. They're kind of creepy. Well, there's the cat, and I think that was the prince from the book. Okay, well... Twin suns and strange moons. Okay. Let's take the knocked out diaper down and put it on the baby in yellow's um, booty. Here you go. <laughs> I made him super happy. Now we have to take him to bed. How long did it have to be? Whoa. Wait, what? What just happened? This baby's playing tricks on us. This is so evil. All right, go to bed. No, no story. You're too creepy. The prince and the rabbit. Okay, now we're going to read him a different story about a prince. That rabbit looks terrified, Molly. When the rabbit came to visit, the prince said, time to play. But his big red eyes, they scared her, and she didn't want to stay. Quickly towards the exit, the tiny rabbit hopped. The prince ran right behind her and screamed, she must be stopped. That poor rabbit! Yeah. Hey, why'd you knock that book over there? Mm. Naughty, do you want a timeout? Molly, I think he's gonna try to give us a timeout. Here, take this rabbit plushie. Is that better? Okay, now let's finish the story. Brat. Through dark corridors he chased her. Hop, hop, hop. A relentless, futile flight. Hop, hop, hop. Round and round inside the palace, in and out of space and sight. Hop, hop, hop. I'm afraid to know what happens to the rabbit. The prince, he couldn't catch her. His heart was filled with wrath. The rabbit slipped right out the door and vanished down the path. The prince cried out, I need new friends. More, now, another. I'll bring you some. Don't worry now replied his loving, caring mother. Okay, these stories are very creepy. I know, but the baby in yellow is super sweet when he's sleeping. I don't know about all that. Let's just go watch some TV and hopefully look for another job on our iPhone. Yeah, Starbucks is looking pretty great right about now. 
toys. Basketball, black, balloon, train, doctor, or question mark? I need to just take them all out. A chess piece, weird. Well, whoa, that, that doctor is weird. Yeah, that's like a medieval one or something. All right, nothing's evil in there. I was checking around the corner before I sat down. Wait, somebody's, somebody's at the door. Toasty 4,000? Oh, look, we can make like grilled cheeses and stuff with this. This looks delicious. They know who I am for sure. Molly, your stomach's been growling for this entire game. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it really has. We what? How did that doctor toy get up there? Oh, night three, Molly. Good night, sweet dreams. I will show you my dreams? Oh boy, this isn't gonna be good. Do you think that baby's on the couch? I don't know. Let's let's go like let's look in the bathroom. No, no. Oh, I hear the baby crying. Um, he's probably still upstairs. We should make the baby in yellow a Roblox account. Oh, that Whoa! Did you see that? It looked like demon eyes. I swear I saw demon eyes too, Daisy. I tried to go out the door and come back in, but. Molly, what are you doing? Um, I need to make the baby a cheese toasty. Ooh, that sounds delicious. I'll take one too. Will you go in the bathroom? I forgot where the kitchen was for a minute. Okay, I'm gonna open the toasty. Make her out. I'm gonna put the bread in. Toasty fillings. Um, you mean like a toasted cheese? This is a toasted cheese! Yes, my sister always calls um grilled cheeses toasted cheese. Whoa! Baby, you monster? What? We were trying to. We were, we, were, we were just discussing the difference between... What is going on here? The fridge is a pathway somewhere, Molly. Whoa. Um, oh, oh, oh. Wait. Why are you locking me in the refrigerator? Let me out! Molly, this is super creepy. Yeah, it is super creepy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like a maze inside the refrigerator. That leads to a hotel? This child is a demon. A demon! Oh, I think it just let us outside the apartment. Okay, um, can we knock the baby outside the apartment? <laughs> I thought it brought us to a hotel too, Molly. I didn't get that part, but... Holy crap, I'm ah! What the heck just happened? Um, Daisy? The baby's gone full-on devil! Molly, what should we do? The baby's gone psycho! Ah, uh, give it a timeout. Don't think a timeout's gonna work here, Molly. Break the emergency glass upstairs. Oh, look. Oh, a pacifier. Okay. Here you go, little brat. Here you go. <laughs> it knocked that baby right out. Oh, we fell asleep on top of the TV. Dun, dun, dun. Psycho baby, you're the devil incarnate. Oh, <laughs> nice song, Molly. Uh oh. What? What do you want? I think a bedtime story, Molly. Uh, but I'm not really sure. Gosh, this kid is so creepy. Settle the baby down, Molly. You settle it. Touch it! <laughs> okay, one more story, I guess. Where is it? Here you go, here's the sheep. Find the story.
storybook and sit down. The prince and the sheep. Molly, that sheep looks scared and sad. It was cold throughout the palace. The moon shone bright outside. The wind, it blew and blew. Oh no. The curtains flew open wide. The little prince was in his bed and couldn't get to sleep. So he called out for his mother, please go and find my sheep. Poor sheep, I feel sorry for that sheep. I'm thirsty, said the prince. So the sheep fetched a drink. I'm dirty, said the prince. So the sheep changed his clothes. I am tired, said the prince. Let me count you. One, two, three. Just one more thing, said the prince, before I drift to sleep. Molly, why is his eyes open and, and his, his mouth open like eyes, that? And turned to face the sheep. Come join me in my dreams. Stay forever in my head. Obediently, the sheep stepped forth, its mind consumed by dread. Uh, Daisy? Uh, this can't be good! I should say not, Molly, I should say not! Why is this baby such a psycho? Cause he's a demon, Molly! channel because we just um unlocked a new secret space follow the white rabbit and escape from the baby we have escape uh, uh unlocked an escape so subscribe to this channel guys and hit that like button to see the next chapter daisy come out here right now quit being so naughty you'll never find me I will find you in... Oh, wait. I'm in the laundry room. Maybe I will never find you. Um, No, seriously, though, Daisy. I don't want you to get hurt. You're just a baby. You're not going to find me. And I'm a demon. A demon? What are you talking about? No, you're not. You're a cute little innocent baby. You're not a demon. I'm going to be, Molly. You just be. Ow! What I trip over? Ow! Ow! Oh, I definitely need to get the lights on in here. Wait, what was that? Okay, let me just put my flashlight on. Oh no, my flashlight's not working. All right, there we go. Huh? Ah, what's that? That's me being evil. <laughs> Daisy, you're creepy. Look at your eyes. Oh, wait, what are you doing? I'm throwing up everywhere. Watch me puke. Blah. Uh, Daisy, why are you puking in that box? Because, Molly, <laughs> it's gonna make me a demon. Wait, what? Daisy, don't do this. D Daisy? <laughs> I can't wait to be evil. Ew, she's throwing up a lot. Oh my gosh. O-M-G. Daisy, what's happening to you? Ah, ah, look at her. She's like five babies in one. <laughs> Molly, now you're going down. Ah, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ow, ew. She threw up on me. I'm green. Oh, I don't feel so good. I think I might be a zombie. Okay, what is that? Um, a harmless shock toy that makes baby tired. Uh, Daisy, I want you to come here a minute. Here you go, Daisy. Come here. What are you doing? Don't touch me with that. It's gonna hurt. No, it won't. No, it won't. Oh, man, I accidentally threw it. Oops, you gotta go pick it back up. Okay, actually, I think this is the vacuum. That's not what I was looking for. I was looking for that shock thing. <laughs> I found it. Take that. Ow! Oh, you're hurting, demon baby! What's wrong with you? Um, what's wrong with me is you're psycho. And it's time for you to go night-night. Come here. Come here. I gotta pick you up. Come here. Come here. Oh, man. I gotta get the generators on before I die. <laughs> demon, 
Daisy is a winner, and Daddy is a loser. Ow, ow. Okay, maybe I can go through this vent. Oh, there we go. I don't think that demon will follow me in here. You lose. Oh, man. Come on, Daisy. Let's have another match because, seriously, I stunk at that one. <laughs> oh, great. I respawned in the potty. Well, I did eat a bean burrito. <laughs> Ew, Molly! And I thought being a demon was gross. <laughs> Alright, I've got to find the generators before Daisy finds me and kills me. Okay. I kind of don't want to turn on the light because I'm a little bit afraid that um, Daisy will know where I am if I do. Wait, what's that? Maybe it'll be useful to me. Ooh, a candle! That's definitely going to be useful. Actually, not really. It doesn't throw off much light. Hmm. Ooh, maybe I can go through this vent. Ooh, a gas can. In case I want to burn the house down, what are you talking about? Maybe I can get out of here. Escape this evil demon, baby! Ugh. Wait, okay, that just took me into the living room. Where are you? Where's the basement? Ow, did you just throw something in my head? Under construction? How do I get through there? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Ow, why are you jumping on my head, demon baby? Ah, your eyes are so creepy. All right, I, I gotta try to take this baby down. I, I can, like, suck this baby up with this vacuum. <laughs> that seems to work pretty good. Come here, baby, come here. That's awesome. All right, come with me, little brat. You're gonna go night-night. I don't think so. Yeah, get over here. Wait, did this thing stop working? Oh, no, no. Here we go. Ouch, that hurts! Well, it shouldn't. It's just that you're resisting going to bed. You need to go night-night. This is your playroom. This is night where you go night-night. Let me try to find the, the crib. I can't find the crib anywhere. Ah! Ow, why are you hitting me? Okay, that's really starting to make me mad. You're gonna get a timeout! Bad, bad, bad baby. Wait, wait, get back here! All right, guys, I lost the baby. I don't know how to turn on the generator. Wait, there's the baby. Ah! What are you doing, you naughty little brat? Oh, wait, it needs to charge, guys. I can't even use it right now. What is this thing? Oh, man, it's like magic or something dynamite stick. I'm not really sure what it is. But, um, oh my god, what is going on? Huh? Um, guys? Oh, uh, the baby's doing some sort of weird seance or something. Alright, let me let me see if I can find any of these generators. Wait, what's this? Oh, oh, Molly! Ah, you're so creepy as a demon! Huh? Ah, you've only got 30 seconds left. Oh, wow, look at the fireworks. It's amazing out here. Wait, maybe the generators are out here. You're gonna die again. Hey, you try being the daddy, okay? This is not easy. What is that? It looks like some sort of weird dog. Uh, ducky, are you okay? <laughs> that dog looks so weird. Oh, I lost again. Okay, Daisy, it's so easy to be the baby and it's so hard to be the daddy. So this time, you're gonna be the daddy. What? No! I want to be the baby! No, you can't always be the baby. I get to be the baby sometimes. <laughs> now I'm going to be the evil baby. Hiya, hiya. Okay, my arm looks a little creepy right there. Molly, try to behave. Nope, not going to behave. Not even a little bit. Alright, I have to find something that will make me puke. So I have to puke at that box in order to turn into a demon. So, I've got to go find, like, gross stuff to... Ooh, there's the box. Okay, I've got to find gross stuff to drink. Let's go do this. I think if I go upstairs, I'll find something. Um, when you're the baby, you move so fast. When I was the daddy, I was, like, so slow. All right, let's go into daddy's room and see if I can find something really naughty to drink that I'm not supposed to have. Um, so far I haven't found anything. Ugh! 
I definitely want to puke acid at daddy. <laughs> yeah, okay, Marley. But I'm setting up booby traps for you. You're never going to get away. We'll see about that. <laughs> Looky what I finally found. Ugh, now I just got to reach it. Ugh. I'm so tiny. Okay, there we go. Um, Drink water. No, thank you. No, 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 no. Right there. Bingo! Swap with hammer. And... Drinky, drinky! Glug, 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 Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. My stomach feels really weird right now. Molly, did you just drink something horrible for you? Um, maybe? I guess I need another one because I'm not throwing up yet. And I need to in order to puke at that box. Then I turn into demon baby. Glug, 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 glug. Oh! <laughs> Here comes Demon Mom. Here comes Demon Mom. <laughs> okay, that was so ridiculously funny. <laughs> oh, look at me. I am evil. Uh-oh. There's only one minute remaining. Well, I don't think Daisy's turned on any of the generators yet, so I should be pretty okay. Molly, where are you, and what are you trying to do? Um, just so you know, being a daddy is a lot harder work than it looks. Molly, what are you doing? I'm puking acid at you. <laughs> That's what demons do. Ah, oh, that really hurt, Molly. <laughs> yes, I win. See, I told you, it's much harder to be daddy than it is to be baby. I'm being baby again. Molly. Oh, come on. It's so fun to be baby. Fine, I'll be daddy, but this time I'm not giving you any leeway. I'm going to get all of these generators turned on and you're going down. All right, guys, I've got to find some poison to drink like mega fast. And also that box that turns me into a demon. Oh, it's right here in the living room. Oh, there's, there's some poison right there. All right. Here we go. Drinking it, guys. Drinking it down. <laughs> I also broke the table. Man, I'm evil. Oh, I'm puking already. Oh, let me puke at this box. Uh-oh. Yes! <laughs> Demon Molly. Demon Molly. Demon Molly. Wow, that is just terrifying. All right. Let's go make Daisy's life horrible. Wow, I'm like really slow when I'm Demon Baby. Uh, uh, fire beam? Seriously? Whoa, I can shoot fire? Um, but I'm having a little trouble going up the stairs. Okay. Uh, I'm like too chubby or something as Demon Baby. Alright, fine. I can't go up the stairs because I'm too chubby. No problem. I'll just shoot some acid. Yep, yep. I'll put it right here at the bottom of the stairs. So when Daisy comes back down... Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Huh, I'm really hungry. I don't have a lot of energy. I better start eating everything in the room. Molly, what are you doing? That's our nice furniture. I'm hungry, Daisy. I'm very hungry. <laughs> oh, I ate that beach ball. That was awesome. Molly, I got one of the generators started. Oh, man, I missed her. I tried to, like, puke up acid at her, but didn't work. All right, guys, should I try the fire bean? Where'd she go? You're super fast as the daddy. Hello. Well, I need to suck up some more life of everything. Maybe I can go eat that candle. Is it Bath and Body Works? <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, I consumed that table. All right, now I'm ready to go. Uh, doo doo dash. Uh, guys, I'm not sure I want to know what that is, but as soon as I find Daisy, I'm gonna try it out. Uh, Daisy, I hate to do this to you, but poopy time. Ew, Molly, are you serious right now? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. I made a steamy pile of doo-doo. That was gross. Here, let me just eat this chair so I have extra, extra strength to do this. Oh, I'm going to burn the house down. I caught the refrigerator on fire. I'm burning the entire house down. Look, I'm red. I'm red. I'm burning everything down, Daisy. Can I eat this door? I want to eat the door. Okay, you're just being ridiculous now, Molly. Well, I'm running really fast. 
Come here, come here, you! <laughs> wait, why am I eating the trumpets? Oh, wait, who won? Nobody won, what are you talking about? Uh-oh, I think I might have died. Oh my gosh, Demon Baby exploded! I still have a minute, though, to get the last generator on. And if I do, I win. Well, that would be fabulous for you, Daisy. Because I never won as daddy. Seriously, that's so hard to be daddy. I can't believe I exploded. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spectate Daisy, but I can't. It's not letting me. Well, I still won, Miley, because um, you blew yourself up. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, guys, thanks so much for watching us play Who's Your Daddy? Demon Baby. Um, This was much harder than I thought, but it was super fun. I agree, Molly, but I liked being Demon Baby best. So did I. That was kind of crazy and totally fun. Guys, if you want to see us play this game again, let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye! What's up? It's me, Molly, and my sister Daisy is here too. Guys, we. Whoa. Whoa! Did you guys just see that? It looked like a person. We are looking for the secret tape in Amanda the Adventurer. And guys, um, we're not sure where to find this secret tape, but we we just have a feeling that it exists. And every every time I even think about Amanda, I get creeped out. Hi, like, what I'm happened Amanda. to Molly? And I'm Wooly. And I love apples. Do you like apples? So what we're going to do in this episode, guys, is we're going to answer I'm wrong answers. I'm apples. That's okay. You should never be afraid to try something new. But we don't even know where the store is. Do you know where the store okay. is? Okay, when she turns her head like that, she is creepy. Okay, I've been kind of hiding so do far in this video because I don't even, I don't even, like... I, I don't even want to look at her. She's so creepy. Yeah, I think she that's definitely right. killed Woody. Let's go. We're at the store. It sure looks crowded. Bah. And look, there are apples. Can you this is apples? before um Woody disappeared and Amanda killed him. Um, I'm putting an orange. Good job. Oh, she's forcing now me to say apple. Pie. That is so rude. <laughs> Okay, that's the end of episode one. Molly, do you really think if we answer the wrong way that the secret tapes will appeal? I do, and I also think there's something really terrifying going on with the screen. And and I, I, I don't know, but it just looks like a person or something. It's weird. Well, let's try episode two. Oh, oh you. What's this? Okay. We don't have much time. Whatever you do. Hi, everyone. I'm Amanda. He was trying to give us a I'm warning. Willing. Well, he didn't want Amanda Today, to know he was giving him, grandma. giving us this what warning. Is a grandma a vegetarian? Can you tell us where the butcher is? Okay, I'm gonna select. Um, I'm gonna select. I feel like she's controlling me there right is. now. Let's go. Molly, did she make you choose the butcher? Hello, yeah, she totally did. Oh, that butcher creeps me Can out. You tell them what we need? Uh, Wooly doesn't want us to say. Okay, let's not say. Molly, maybe we should say, though. I mean, I don't know. Let's let's put in lamb. Can you tell the meat man what we need? Okay, I. she didn't want me to say lamb. Let's try something else. Molly, you put oh, Wooly! No. Oh, she got mad that time. I don't want to put that. Right. Oh my gosh. When he chops his meat, it's the creepiest thing ever! I couldn't agree more, Molly. I don't like how Amanda looks at Wooly either. Watch this when her head turns towards him. Ah! That is so creepy! Oh, Wooly! Wait, what's that? Molly, that tape wasn't there before. Look! It has something scribbled out on it. I wonder what it says. Oh my gosh. I can't really make it out. I can't, I, can't, I can't really read it, but... But this must be the secret tape. You're right, Molly. It's gotta be. Maybe this explains what happens to Wooly. Yeah, it might. Let's play it. 
It looks like it says fine or something. <laughs> You're right. The treasure map said the woods. Let's go. I think we're close to the treasure now. Aren't you excited, Wooly? Wooly doesn't look excited aren't you at all. Excited? Huh? Oh, yeah. Right. Um. Yeah, but we still don't know where the treasure is. Uh. Buried. He seems Our so friend out of GPS it. Said that X marks the spot. Can you see where the X is? Uh, Marley, if you pick the X, something bad's gonna happen. X marks the spot. Okay, I'm thinking square. We're looking for the X, right? No, we're not, Miss Attitude. Oh, trees grew where those were. Okay. There it is. Treasure away. There's nothing. Looks like the spot. But how are we supposed to get at it under all the dirt? Bah. Luckily, I brought some tools to help us with our adventure. I brought a crowbar, a rope, and a shovel. We already used the crowbar for the door. We used the rope for... Use the rope and now for what? we only have the shovel. We use the rope for what? What tool should we use know, to Marley, dig up the treasure? was creepy. Okay, she wants us to say that we have to use the shovel to dig up the treasure. I'm not sure I want to know what she thinks is treasure. There might be another dead sheep down there or something. Well, what should we write here then? How about, help I me. I bring that. What can we use to dig up the treasure? Yeah, that was a good answer, Molly. Help me. Yeah, definitely. She needs help. And so doesn't Wooly. Um, let's see. Six letters. What could I write here? Um, eh. Molly, write something. Writing, um, run. The only tools we haven't away. used yet is the shovel. With that said, the only tool we would need is. I don't want to write shovel. Don't make me. Molly, she's gonna make you. She's gonna make you white shovel. Stop making me! The shovel. You're right. Now we can dig this up before someone. Okay, that's enough. Bah. No, I, I can't let you do this anymore. I don't care what you do to me. You, take the tape out now and destroy them. Burn them. Whatever. Just get rid of these other tapes. Do you hear me? No. You can't let anyone else watch the Let anyone watch Oh, oh. <laughs> ah, That was creepy! Amanda, she, she, she's gonna kill Molly! What's this, Molly? What is this? It's someone walking, like, in the woods or something. What is this? I have no idea, Molly. I have no idea. It looks like they built a fire! <gasps> is this supposed to be us? Oh my gosh! I, I think this is the secret tape! They're gonna burn it! Good! That's what Wooly said to do! Maybe we could save his life or something. Too late, Molly. These tapes are old. Burn it! Burn it! Burn it! Burn it! Yeah, burn the tapes! Burn it! Oh, we've gotta write something here. Oh, what? What? Um, turn on... Light it! Light it! Yeah, light it! <coughs> he can't for some reason, Molly. He can't! Ah, uh, what, what do you think, Daisy? I don't know. Um, what has five letters? Um, torch it! Torch it! <coughs> well, that didn't work either. Light torch? Burn? No, that, that wouldn't work. Burn wouldn't work. Um, uh... Molly, we need to help Wooly! I think it might be too late for Wooly. Um... Wadu? Molly, why? No, I'm typing... I don't know. I don't know what to type. Maybe... Watch? Watch? No. I, I don't know, Molly. Yeah. How about, watch me burn this? Why didn't he burn it? I don't know, maybe we gave the wrong answer? 
He kept it. He kept it. No! Well, he said don't keep the tapes. This is so bad. This is so, so bad. Hello? Yeah, hey. Um, yeah, no, I found it. Yeah, I found the place. It was just, uh, it was just off the highway. Yeah, not too far. I wasn't that hard. Um, yeah, no, they're all... Hold on, what? Was I... Was I followed? No, I... No, I don't think so. Who'd... Who'd be following me? Amanda would be following you! No, nobody... Nobody was there. It was just me. Um... Yeah, no, the, the tapes are all destroyed, too. They're, they're gone. Every single one. Liar! Yeah, no, no problem. Um... Listen, it, it, it's getting late. I, uh... I really need to get home. Uh, I got work tomorrow. So I'll, uh... I'll call you when I get back home, okay? Cool. Okay. Have a good night. I'll, uh... Talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Why did he lie about destroying the tapes? I don't know, Mali. But that was the secret tape. Okay, now I need to watch episode three again. Just to see if there's anything different. It's dark out. Let's go home. Wait a minute! Wait! What's that next to Amanda? It's a pile of wool! Oh my god! Oh my god! Th 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 that's part of Wooly! She killed him! Oh my gosh, I knew it! Oh my gosh, I don't think anyone else playing this game has noticed that there's a pile of Wooly's wool right next to her. Well, maybe it's a buck, Molly. Maybe it's a buck. Maybe, but I don't think so. I think that might be oh. Wooly. She wants us to point to the home. I don't want to do anything she wants. I want to do nothing that she wants. Knock on the door. Oh, God. This part's scary. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. She wants to go inside. Let me in. Molly, this is when she turns into a crazy monster. I can't look. Uh oh. Amanda gone crazy. Uh, I don't know what to type here. How about psycho? How about mean? How about kill? K I L L. Nope, that's not long enough. What? What's going on? Ah! Oh my gosh. All right. I, I seriously. <laughs> the secret tape was insane. I have to say it was insane too. Okay, I can't wait to see what happens next. Yeah, what happened to Wooly? What happened? I know. I, I, I don't know, Molly. I don't know. Guys, let us know in the comment section below if you want to know what happens next. And we will try to find out where the next tape is. See you guys next time. Bye. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Molly, we just had breakfast five minutes ago. I know, but I need some milk. I need some milk! Uh, you're so lucky. I wish I could drink some milk. What? Why? Excuse me, we're trying to have a conversation. Rude! Buddy, don't say that. They'll put you in time out. So, Daisy, why can't you drink any milk? My tummy just feels kind of funny today. Uh, it's even sticking out farther than it normally does. You know what that means? It means you gotta fart! <laughs> Repeat after me! <laughs> You probably went doo-doo in your diaper. Good morning, girls. Who's ready to ride the ponies? Oh, Molly, you look so sad. What's wrong? I have to tinkle. I have to go potty. Okay, come with me. And then we're going to go ride the ponies. Aren't you excited? Yeah, I I'm pretty excited. I'm really thirsty, though. Okay, go ahead. Sit on the potty. Can I have a drink? I need some milk. Hello? Hello? Uh-oh, she left. I can't believe she left me all alone on the potty. What if I fall in? What if I what if I go down to the sewer and I drown? Um, Molly, I think you're being a little dramatic. I'm right here, and you're just fine. Now go wash your hands, please. Okay, fine. I can't believe she left me there alone. Terrible caregiver! Molly, I think you're just a little grumpy. Maybe you need a snack before we ride the ponies? Yeah, I need a snack. Of course I do! You always get so hangry. Um, is Daisy gonna have a snack too? I have one snack. I don't 
feel good. Oh, Daisy, your stomach still hurts? Well, maybe you're just hungry, sweetheart. Why don't we try feeding you something? All right, Molly, let's just put you in your high chair and give you a snack and a drink, and then we'll go ride the ponies. Okay, mmm, rice, mmm, this is delicious. Daisy, are you sure you don't want any? No, my stomach hurts so bad. I think there might be something wrong with me. Oh, honey, it's probably just just like a little, a little tummy upset. You'll be okay. I'm feeling pretty good. I ate tons of rice and it was delicious, and then I had a bottle of milk. Ah, my tummy is so happy. My tummy feels awful. Well, maybe once you ride the ponies, you'll feel better, Daisy. Come on, let's go. Oh, look it, I think that pony really likes me. Hi, I'm Molly. Molly, horses don't speak English. Oh, well, maybe they speak horse. Nay, my, nay. Why do you kids speak horse? Yes, I can. Oh, here comes a unicorn. Or Pegasus. I think it's a Pegasus because it's got wings. I want to ride the Pegasus. Okay, the Pegasus obviously wants me to ride it, but I don't, I don't know how to get on its back. I'm too little. Teacher, help me. There you go, Molly. You just needed a little bit of help. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. Whee! Um, and also, that's not a Pegasus. That's a flying unicorn. A flying unicorn? Whoa. The wings are beautiful. Um, can you stop going so fast, though? You're making my tummy hurt. Tell me about it. My tummy's been hurting all day. Okay, girls. Well, since your tummies are both hurting, maybe it's time to go for a nap. Or maybe it's time to go to the hospital. Oh. I don't feel right. I want to see a doctor right now. Oh, Daisy, it's really that bad? No. Yeah, she's been telling you. Uh-oh. No. Oh, my gosh. She no. just threw up everywhere. All over that girl. Oh, no. I don't feel good. Ew, you threw up on me. Gross. Does anyone have any paper towels? Um, no, but you could go to get some at the nurse's station. Oh, Daisy, this is making me so sad that you're so sick. Girls, we need to take Daisy to the hospital and quick. Daisy, everything's going to be okay. I promise. Molly, my stomach, it hurts so, so bad. Oh, no, Daisy. I'm so sorry this is happening to you. You're the most annoying sister in the world, but I hate to see you sick. I know. It's just so awful. <laughs> well, the doctor's going to know what to do. I know it. They're going to make you all better. May I have your attention, please? The next patient is Daisy. I need to go potty. I'm going to throw up. Oh, um, you better hurry up. She, she needs a wheelchair. Somebody help. I don't need a wheelchair. I have to go to the bathroom. And also, I think I'm going to throw up again. Not on me. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to get thrown up on yuck. Do you have a bucket, Molly? Oh, my stomach. Hi there. I'm Dr. Smith, and I'd be happy to help your sister. Well, you better hurry because she's about to go poo-poo in her pants and she's throwing up. Oh, my. Okay, sweetheart, just get right into the wheelchair, and I'll take you into the exam room. And are you okay, little girl? My name's Molly, and yeah, I'm just really tired. Having a sister that's sick is exhausting. Right this way, sweetheart. Everything's going to be a-okay. I hope so. I, I really need a drink. I want some milk, and I want my mommy. I want my mommy, too. Well, your mommy's at work, but don't worry. She's been called. She'll be here as soon as possible. Now, I just need you to lay down in this bed so we can do a checkup and see if there's something wrong with your tummy. Okay, Daisy, let's take a look at your tummy. First, I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on your tummy, and I'm going to feel for any bumps or lumps. I'm feeling very sick. When I turn you or twist you this way, does your tummy hurt? Yes, it hurts so bad. All right. We're gonna need to get an x-ray of your stomach and maybe an ultrasound too. Oh my gosh, is that gonna hurt? No, neither one of those hurt at all. Now, come on, Daisy. Oh my gosh, I'm so worried about my sister. Oh man, I also have to go to the bathroom. I'm really thirsty and I need a nap. Worst day ever! <laughs> What's happening, doctor? What did you find out? Well, we did the x-ray and your sister has to have her appendix out. Wait. What? I want to have surgery. 
Chewie! Eee! Don't worry, sweetie. You won't feel a thing because you'll be asleep. And when you wake up, you'll eat all the ice cream you can stand. Whoa, sounds pretty good to me, Daisy. Can I have surgery too? I'm gonna eat ice cream. I don't want it. <laughs> all right, sweetie. I'm just going to lay you on the operating table and give you some medicine that'll help you fall asleep. When you wake up, your mom will be here and everything will be all over and your tummy won't hurt anymore. Oh my gosh, I can't believe my sister's gonna have surgery at Twilight Daycare. Do they do surgery here? Yes, we have doctors on staff for such things. Now you'll have to wait in the waiting room, Molly. You can't be in the surgery room, of course. Of course. Oh my gosh, my poor sister. Will she be okay? Will she survive? Oh my gosh, I'm so worried about my sister. She's so annoying, but... Wait a minute. I'm worried about her, but I'm also feeling kind of hungry. Where's the snack bar? I totally need to go get a snack. Ooh, a snack bar full of donuts? Yes, please. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. All right, let's see how much everything costs. Ooh, $2. I probably can afford that, I think. Give me a donut! My sister's in the hospital, I need it! Oh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Mm. That was delicious. Can I buy another one? Oh, I'm totally gonna eat all these donuts until I explode. Mm. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? Daisy has just finished surgery. Daisy has just finished surgery. Oh, wow. I can't stay here and eat all these donuts. I gotta go see my sister. Daisy? Daisy, are you okay? I feel kind of funny. My stomach doesn't really hurt anymore, though. I want my mommy! Oh, Daisy, Mom's gonna be here any minute. I just know it. How was the surgery? I don't know. I don't remember anything. All I know is they said, count to three. I went one, two. Now I woke up over here. I guess the surgery's over. Yeah, the surgery's over, Daisy. Now they said you could eat as much ice cream as you want. But that's good, because I'm very hungry if I'm not eating all day. Oh, I'm so glad you can eat again and that your stomach doesn't hurt anymore. Yeah, except for they told me after the surgery I'd have to fart a lot. Say what? Yeah, and I'm sort of feeling... <sniffs> Ew, Daisy! Gassy. <laughs> oh my gosh, that smells awful! Oh, it's making me want to... <sniffs> Ew, Molly! <sniffs> Sorry, you stink so bad, gross! Oh, you're so dramatic. I want my mom. I want my mom! Daisy already told you she's coming any minute. She's going to take you home, and then you're not going to be able to go to um, Twilight Daycare for at least probably a week because you had surgery. Yeah, but that's okay. I'll stay home and eat ice cream and watch all the TV I want while you have to come and do class and homework and stuff. Wait, what? I have to come even though you don't? That sounds completely unfair! Oh, it is, Molly. All you have to do is have surgery. I don't want surgery, but I don't want to come to school every day. Uh, Molly, that's just the way educational daycare is. And since you're not sick, you get to do all the homework. I don't like this. I don't like this at all! Nope, I'm going to start getting up early, studying for my tests, doing my chores. If I could just make my brain wake up. Wake up, brain! Wake up! Wake up! One, two, three, four, five, six. Ugh. I haven't worked out in a really long time. I need a cupcake. I need a cupcake! Hey, Mom, good morning! I'm awake super early today and I'm all dressed for school and... Oh, seriously? What? What did I do, Mom? What's wrong? Ugh, I just can't believe you woke up at 6 a.m. when you could have woken up at 5 a.m. Wait, what? I never wake up at 6 a.m. So? You could have wake it up, woken up at 5 a.m. and then you could have done more chores. Oh, um, well, we never do chores before school, Mom. I, I have school today. Well, you could have done more studying for that test. I mean... 
when was the last time you actually got a perfect grade on your test? Um, eh, um, well, uh, never. Exactly. Oh, you could have woken up earlier is my point. I'm sorry, Mom. Um, but, uh, I'll try to do better, okay? You should definitely try to do better. Okay, Mom. Well, I'll, I'll see you after school. Okay, Molly. Bye. Bye! Ugh, I thought my mom would be super proud of me that I woke up at 6 a.m. and got ready, and, and I'm even out here before the school bus gets here. Probably could just walk to school if I wanted to. But no, she's disappointed in me. Again. Mom! Mommy! Mom! Mom! Mama! What, Molly? What is it? Mom! For the first time ever in my entire life, I got a 100 on a test at school. Yes! Oh, Molly, um, this is not what I expected. Oh no! Don't tell me Mrs. Smith accidentally gave me someone else's test and I actually failed. No, this is your test, Molly, but you only got 100. Wait, say what? I only got 100, Mom, that's a perfect score. No, correction. There was a bonus question on here and you didn't know it. You could have gotten 105. But, but Mom, I got a perfect score. No, perfect would have been 105. Maybe if you studied harder, gotten up earlier, and done the studying, then you would have gotten a 105. Oh, okay, well, um, I'm sorry that I didn't get a 105, but Mom, for the first time ever, I got 100. This is in insane. I don't care. You need to try harder, Molly. Okay, Mom. I'll try harder. Wow! The entire school is here! <laughs> Good thing I'm not nervous. Okay, maybe I'm just a little nervous. But I got this. I have been practicing this song for months. And this talent show? I'm totally gonna win it. P-I-G-G-Y P piggy song that I wrote. Yep, that's right. I wrote it myself. And I sang it for the talent show. Well, Mary, your um, dancing was really pretty. Oh, thank you. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get first place. Oh, really? I think I'm going to get first place. Pfft, no way. I'm totally going to win it. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Okay, we've narrowed it down to these two contestants, Molly and Mary. Who do you think's going to win? Oh, I can't wait to see. Do you think it's going to be Molly? Boo! Boo! Guacamole! Is my own mother booing me right now? Oh yeah, Molly, that's not a really good sign. <laughs> and the winner is Mary! Wait, what? But, 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 but my song was amazing! Yay! Where's my trophy? I can't wait! Here you go, Mary! <laughs> Congratulations! Oh man! Mom, I can't believe it! I, I got second place! I worked really hard at this, but you know, second place is still amazing, right, Mom? No, it's not amazing. It's, it's, it's pathetic. Wait, what? If you hadn't taken that breath in the third measure, in the second verse, you would have won. Mom, I had to breathe. I'm human. Breathing is done in a certain way when you're singing. Mom, listen to how I breathe when I sing it. P-I-G-G-Y, Piggy is after me. Then breathe. <gasps> okay, Mom, but I don't have as big as long as you. As long as you. I'm not an adult yet. Well, maybe you should have practiced harder. Mom, did you seriously boo me? I did. Mary was the better contestant. Oh, my gosh. You know what? I, 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 I'm tired of trying so hard. I tried to turn over a new leaf, and obviously I'm never going to be good enough for you, Mom. Wait, what? Your high expectations of me is making me feel, well, well, horrible about myself. No, 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 I, 
I just give up. I'm going back to being lazy and to eating Doritos all day and getting the crumbs all over my bed and then sleeping in the crumbs and, and having them stuck to my face in the morning and then eating the crumbs because I'm hungry, but I'm too lazy to go down and get breakfast. Uh, Molly, that sounds really, well, kind of weird. I don't care. I like being lazy. And, 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 and I tried so hard and I'm not good enough for you. Oh my gosh, Molly. I realize that I've been pushing you way too hard. Yes! And you're wonderful and special just the way you are. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I know I've been pushing you way too hard. I, I just wanted you to reach your full potential. All it made me do is feel, well, useless and I'm like a failure. I just, I never seen you not want to be lazy and so I... I guess I just went a little crazy and I'm I'm sorry Molly you know I don't know if anyone ever told you this but grown-ups aren't perfect either really you're not nope and there's no book that tells us the exact things to do to parent we just try our best and sometimes we fail too yeah mom you're not meeting my expectations <laughs> just kidding mom Ah, uh, yeah, I think I did fail in this regard, but I could get you an ice cream and tell you I'm sorry and I love you. Sounds pretty good to me. Can I get two scoops, Mom? Sure, Molly. I've done it! I've done it, people! Done what, Daisy? I've become the smartest human being in the world. Say what? Welcome to your first night shift at the toy shop. It's your job as a security guard to make sure no one robs the place. If you hear any noises, go check it out. Also, make sure to keep the power off as it can cause, well, um, uh, problems. Have a nice day. I think this is going to be pretty easy. Well, Molly, what? why are you so tall? <laughs> I guess I had a growth spurt or something. Like guacamole, you'd like a giant. <laughs> I can't believe we got a job as um, security guards at a toy shop. This is so cool. Yeah, but look at that guy over there. He's really creepy. Mr. Funny Dunny, Dummy. I can talk. Well, he is a little creepy. I'd much rather have a teddy bear. Too bad. I'm getting you a Mr. Funny Dummy. <laughs> That's what you're getting for Valentine's Day. You better not. Molly, seriously, sorry, I was a little distracted. You're so tall. Yeah, get over it. You're short. I'm I'm tall, and you're not. Ugh, rude. All right, let's go into the staff only um section because I'm sure there's treats in there. Molly, they don't give you treats. It's pretty dark in here. I can use my flashlight if you want. That's a great idea. This place is a little creepy. Um, so, uh, I don't see any of the treats. Molly, just because you got a job here doesn't mean they're going to give you treats. Oh, that seems kind of, like, rude. There, I turned on the power. Now it won't be so creepy. And maybe we can find the cupcakes. Molly, when they give you a job somewhere, they don't give you snacks. Well, what do they expect from me, then? They're going to give you money for working here. Wait, what, 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 what was that? It sounded like it came from the shop floor. I don't know. We probably should go check it out. Maybe they're dropping off the cupcakes. Wait. Where, 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 where did Mr. Funny Dummy go? What are you talking about? He's right there. <gasps> that giant dummy is gone. I know, Molly. It, it's sort of creeping me out a little bit. Oh, I'm sure somebody just moved it. Probably as a prank. I don't know, Molly. That guy was really weird. Hey, look. We can go up here. Daisy, come on, let's let's go up here. Molly, we can't reach. We're not tall enough. Well, somebody stand here, and I'll jump on their head. Okay, okay, that didn't work. Okay, Daisy, um, we can't go up there. No kidding, Molly. Oh wow, if you go through here, ow, it hurts. Be careful, Molly. Be careful. It's sort of like an abbey. Whoa, this job got way more serious all of a sudden. Where is my cupcakes? Oh boy, Molly. You really don't get it, do you? You can buy your own cupcakes with the money they pay you. Yeah, that's probably true. Pull lever. Molly, that dummy is going to show up here. I just know it. 
Molly Hoey, that level made platforms. And if you don't, you don't jump on them, you die. Well, I made it, <laughs> which is surprising because usually when I play games like this, all I do is spend all of my Robux. Funny game one? I don't know if I, I think this game is funny at all. What happened to the lights? I, I hear something in the distance. I don't know, Molly, but I think there's only one way out, so we probably should go look. Um, I'm going this way with my sister. <laughs> you guys can go that way. Molly, do you think Mr. Funny is in the shadows? Daisy, why are you so paranoid about Mr. Funny? Because this was called Mr. Funny's Toy Shop. Oh, yeah, this probably does have something to do with that giant creepy toy dummy. Absolutely, Molly. This is like a maze. You can never get out of it. I'm going to get out of it. I'm smarter than Mr. <laughs> Funny. Ah! Ah! That creeped me out! Holy guacamole, that was terrifying. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, my God. Ah, that gave me a heart attack. <laughs> Molly, did Mr. Funny get you? Yeah, it wasn't funny at all. It was terrifying. I was like, who's that behind me? And when I turned around, it was Mr. <laughs> ah! There he is again! Okay, this is creeping me out. <laughs> okay, I can tell already I'm not going to get past game one. Maybe if I just keep running super fast. <laughs> I don't think I can yell. Ah, there he is again! Ah! <laughs> oh my god. I keep screaming because it just creeps me out. Okay. Guys, if this game creeped you out, let me know in the comment section below. Maybe if I don't turn on my flashlight, he won't get me. Maybe he's attracted to the light. Oh my god! Oh my god, I can run faster than him, right? Ah! Mr. Funny, stop it. We can be friends. I mean it. We can be friends. <laughs> he moves. So creepy. <laughs> OMG. Why you following me, Mr. Funny? <laughs> I can't even talk right now. Oh, my God. I just made it to the exit. Daisy! Molly! Close the door! Oh, my gosh. Did Mr. Funny get you a bunch of times? Yeah! I literally almost had a heart attack. It was so scary. Guys, if you don't like jump scares, this is not the game for you. Okay, I'm going to go over here. I don't know where it goes, but... Oopsie! Not that way. Okay, let's see. If we go up here... Oh, that looks like a way out, but we can't get over there. And then up here. And then here. Come on, Marty, You can do this. And then up here. Yes! Oh, thank goodness, Molly. I thought I was going to lose you to Mr. Funny forever. He is not funny. There is nothing funny about Mr. Funny. Agreed. Ah! Oh, man! Daisy, I just, I just died in the most horrible way. I see that, Molly. Definitely don't go down there. Oh, no, I'm going to do it again. Oh, I got smushed by the rollers. Mr. Funny's toy shop is not funny. It's terrifying, actually. Oh, God! No! Molly, you didn't even make it to Funny Game 2. I, th I don't think I want to. I think, I think, no. I'm thinking no. Whoa. Yes, I finally made it. Nope, just kidding. I died. <laughs> Molly. <laughs> Seriously, you stink. Yeah, a little bit. I think it's because I'm just like, I got really frazzled when I saw Mr. Funny or whatever his name is. Because he is creepy times a million. I couldn't agree more, Molly. He is pretty creepy. Oh, you finally made it. Um, Daisy, does this look like red light, green light to you? It does, Molly. It does. This is the game of red light, green light? Yeah, Molly. So when he's not looking, run! Perfect. Oh, Daisy, you got eliminated. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I want to get to the other side. He's so... Creepy! <laughs> Take that, Mr. Funny. <laughs> ah! He got me again! Ah! <laughs> His face is so creepy. Oh, man. Okay, I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I need a cupcake. <laughs> is Daisy back? I don't, I don't know if that's Daisy over there. I'm not moving. I'm not moving till that head turns all the way around. Great. Ah! Why do you keep getting me, Mr. Funny?
Marty! Marty, everything's gonna be okay. Just try your best. Would you like to buy a ninja star? I think I really would. I'm gonna stop way ahead of time, so that way, like right now, so that way I don't get killed, because I don't know about you, but I cannot see Mr. Funny's face again. <laughs> He's gonna give me nightmares, Mr. Funny. Ah! Don't get me. Oh, oh, that was a close one. Molly, I'm over here. Oh, Daisy. Oh, I'm so glad to see you made it. Yeah, I was really, really scared when Mr. Funny's face was like right up in mine. Holy guacamole. Ha ha! Can we move now? Yeah, Molly, he can't get you. Um, Mr. Funny, you are creepy. I can't even talk when I say that. It's gonna be okay, Marley. I never knew you to be so afraid of a game before. And this one's no ordinary game. Okay, I think if we go over here, and then, Marley, this way. I can help you if you want. Um, like this, and then. Totally did it! Okay, press for the elevator. Here we go, Marley! I think Mr. Funny's gonna be up here? Absolutely. Okay, I'm just gonna hide inside this box then forever. Molly, I still see your arm. Oh, sorry. I'm hiding forever. Molly, I still see your other arm. That box isn't big enough for you. Oh, Mr. Funny's game number three. Oh, looks like a survival game. I'll have to avoid the giant robot by climbing on those blocks. Giant robot? What are they talking about? I don't see a giant robot. Um, Molly, just be careful. Get to a safe place in nine seconds. Okay, I have to say that this is a really inventive game. It's also scaring me to death, so. Okay, this is as high as I can. Oh my god! It's a Mr. Funny Robot! Uh oh, am I up high enough? I hope so. Oh boy, he's knocking everything over. Oh no, this is gonna be bad, Daisy. This is gonna be bad. He is evil! Mr. Robot. Ah! Oh my gosh. He just took my head off. Okay, I've got to get somewhere where he's not going to break down the blocks. I think Daisy already made it through. She's so lucky. I'm the only one that's left here with that creepy. Oh my god, I only have one second and he's coming out here. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm dying. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. That's what I need to say to myself. Hey, Mr. Funny. This isn't funny. Oh man, I need to survive for 29 more seconds? Just just leave me alone! You don't have to do this! You don't have to be this mean! Oh my god. Ah, we gotta run fast. Oh, Mr. Funny's closing in. Uh-oh, he ran me over. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh. Okay, it's saying I have to wait. I can buy a jetpack. That might be worth my money, actually. Just so I can escape Mr. Funny. If you guys haven't played this game yet, I highly recommend it. It is um, creepy, but very fun. Oh my god, no, don't let me fall! Oh! When I said it was really fun, it's also a little frustrating because when Mr. Funny tries to kill you, um, he succeeds. <laughs> Maybe he won't know I'm over here. Yeah, that's a good plan. I'll hide on Mr. Funny. Uh -huh. da -da 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 -da. He doesn't know where I am. Ha 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 Mr. Funny. Do you think it's funny that I, I'm i hiding from you? <laughs> okay, at least he can't squish me over here. Oh my god, I only have to make it 50 more seconds. 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, I died at the last second. Are you serious right now? All right, one last attempt, guys. I think I can actually do it this time. I'm hoping. All right, I'm gonna go over here. Um, I'm actually just gonna hide. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hide from Mr. Funny. See, there's Mr. Funny, and he knows exactly where I am, but I don't know how. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm gonna die! Why me? Why me? Where is he? Oh, 
there's a lot of people in here right now. So they're just like trying to escape Mr. Funny too. Oh my God, it's not funny. It's not funny anymore, Mr. Funny. You're not funny. You're not funny even a little. Okay, now they're going over that way. Oh, please, please don't catch up with me. There's the exit. OMG, I might actually exit. You survived! <laughs> Marley, finally. Are you ready for the next part? Ah, why'd you push me, Daisy? Sorry! Ah! <sighs> Is this the exit? Please let it be the exit. Please. No way of knowing, Marley. But there's only one way to find out. It looks like... A really dark warehouse? This would be a good time to use my flashlight. Oh no, we're still not out of here! Molly, um, I think we're gonna be stuck. Forever there's Mr. Funny! Ah! Molly, I wanna watch Baby Shark. No, Baby Kara, we're not watching Baby Shark. We have seen Baby Shark do, 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 or whatever, like a thousand million bazillion times. Maddie, you need to pay attention in math class. That's not even a number. Well, I'm just saying, we've seen Baby Shark way too many times. I want to watch it. I want to watch it. Okay, here. You want to watch it? I'll show you what Baby Shark looks like. Baby shark do 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 Baby shark do 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 I don't want to hear the song no 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 more Baby shark do 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 Baby shark do 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 It's driving me crazy I think I'll fall on the floor I cannot watch it one more time Ah you guys are annoying me so much Why can't you two just get along? Because baby shark is annoying and Girls are you fighting again? Oh well, <laughs> I won't be here for it. I have some exciting news. You do? What? I won the sweepstakes on YouTube and I get to go to Hawaii for a whole week. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be amazing. We're going to Hawaii? Whoa, Mom, this is so cool. No, Molly, correction. I'm going to Hawaii. You're gonna have a babysitter. What? Mom, you, you, you're not gonna take us to Hawaii? Sorry, it was a... A one-person ticket. So I decided I needed a little vacation from my life. I need a vacation from my life. Have you been around baby Kira lately? She just wants to listen to baby shark. Have you run a bed around Daisy? Well, Daisy's just annoying because she's Daisy. Hey, I'm sitting right here, you know. Molly, you're not a walk in the park. You could be the most frustrated waiting sister on the entire planet. Mom, see what I have to put up with? Take me to Hawaii. Please, Mom, please. Sorry, Molly, begging won't work. <laughs> Is Grandma at least gonna stay with us? No, you have a new babysitter. She's so nice, you're gonna love her. Uh, Mom, I don't like this. Molly, think about it. Having a babysitter means you could probably get away with anything you want. Okay, girls, I've gotta go get packing. See you in a few minutes, when I'm leaving, of course. Okay, bye, Mom. Now, tell me more about what you were saying, Daisy. Molly, she won't know that we have to do chores and all that, so we can take a little mini vacation from our responsibilities here back at home. <laughs> I like this idea a lot. Uh, do we like Baby Shark now? No! The answer is still no, 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 and no! Oh, look, the new babysitter's here. Great. You can let her in. What do I look like, your personal waddle? Hello, is anyone going to let me in? Yes, yes, my sister's too lazy to do it, so I guess I will. Come on in. Oh, hi, you must be Molly. How'd you know? Um, I can just sort of tell. I'm great with kids. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, I'm Molly, this is Daisy, and this is my baby sister, Baby Kara. That's what we call her, Baby Kara, because she's a baby, and she's mm, sort of adorable. But she wants to watch Baby Shark. Come on, watch Baby Shark. Um, well, my name is Brittany, and, um, nope, we're not gonna watch Baby Shark right now. Uh, actually, it's time to do your night routine. Nah, we don't ever have to do our night routine this early. Molly, yes we- Daisy, remember what we talked about? Oh, yeah, no, we don't do our night routine this early. Well, I'm sorry, but we're gonna follow my rules, since I'm gonna be here. 
Um, no. We're gonna follow our rules because we're in charge here. You can even ask our mom. Oh, wait, no, you can't. She's on a plane to Hawaii. I think you girls should probably listen to everything that I say. Um, okay. What do you want us to do? Um, brush your teeth, put on your pajamas, all that stuff. I'm gonna go into the kitchen and make sure you girls have a healthy snack before you go to sleep. Okay! Blah, blah, blah. And also, a whole lot of blah. Buddy, aren't you afraid she's gonna ground us? We're already grounded for the week. Grounded here without going to Hawaii. Yeah, but she could make it so we can't go ride our bikes or get online or do anything. No, she can't. She didn't even know the password, so she can't turn off the internet. <laughs> Having this babysitter is going to be great. I'm not going to do anything I don't want to. Most especially watch Baby Shark. Hi, that's what I want to do. Okay, Baby Kira, I guess we can watch it. But only this once. Hey, Baby Kira. Mm. You want some of these delicious Doritos? I love Doritos. I eat Doritos. Okay, here, you can have some. Yum, yum, yum. These Doritos are so good. Yum, 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 yum. Mmm, I love them. I just want to live in Dorito land. Yeah, that would be amazing. <gasps> are you girls eating Doritos? And why aren't you in your pajamas? Um, because we didn't want to? Listen, it's about bedtime, and I'm telling you, you're going to want to be in bed by 8.30. No, I don't want to be in bed. You just want to force me to be. No, trust me. You're going to want to be in bed by 8.30. Um, uh, okay. Now, chop, chop, upstairs, pajamas, brush your teeth. I guess you've already had a snack, but it wasn't a good one, and I hope you don't get out of bed to get something else in the night because you didn't eat good and now you're hungry. Whoa, whoa, chill out. I wake up at midnight sometimes, come down and get a snack. Well, you won't be doing that tonight. You will get into bed at 8.30 and you will not get back out. What? What if I have to go pee pee or poo poo? I don't care. You'll have to hold it till the morning. Whatever you do, do not get out of your bed for any reason after 8.30. I never had such a strict babysitter about bedtime. Trust me, just do as I say. Fine, fine. Come on, baby Kira. Baby Jack do 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 do. Baby Jack do do do. My guy wants to do Coco Mountain. Uh, Coco Melon? Uh, I don't know, maybe. Dizzy, you're such a goody two shoes. You're already in bed. Yeah. <sighs> if I don't go to bed on time, I get super grumpy. Girls, are you ready for bed? You have four minutes. Oh, this babysitter's crazy about bedtime. All right, fine. I'm not even gonna have time to brush my teeth. My sister snores so loud. That's it, I'm gonna go downstairs and get a snack. Ah, she woke me up and now my stomach's hungry. Daisy? Oh, I see how it is. I must have been dreaming. <laughs> that was a crazy dream. Oh, but now my stomach's kind of hungry. And it looks like Daisy's was too. The babysitter don't, said don't ever get out of bed, but pff, she's just trying to control me and keep me in bed. She obviously doesn't know me very well. <laughs> I'm going for a snack. Whoa, it's dark down here. Oh, I better turn on the light. La, 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 la. I don't know why this babysitter was so crazy about us not getting out of bed. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ooh, what's in the refrigerator? I'm starving. Ice cream. Ooh, lots of treats. Ooh, that waffle actually looks really good. Mm. Yep, totally is. What was that? Must have been my stomach. <laughs> Whoa, I might need to go to the doctor tomorrow. He's making some seriously weird noises. Okay, that wasn't my stomach. It was a... Wait, what's that over there? It's a... It's a... 
Is that a daddy long legs? <laughs> we have so many of those in the summer. I told you! Don't get out of bed! Oh, oh my god, what is that? It's probably nothing. It's just my imagination. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, no it's not. I think it's better to be in the dark. I don't want to see what was going on over there. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Wait a minute. Where's Daisy? Where is Daisy? She came down here before me, I, I think. And, 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 and now she's gone. That evil spider monster probably spun her up in her web and, and she's gone forever. Daisy? Daisy? What did you do? Oh my god, she's right there. She was right there. Ah. Uh. <laughs> your sister's gone forever. I told you not to get out of your bed. But you did. And now you will pay the consequence. I don't think so. Baby Kara, lock your door. Oh my god. Uh, uh, we may have lost Daisy, but we're not going to lose Baby Kara. Baby Kara? Baby Kara? Okay. Wrong room. Whoops. Baby Kara! I like him, baby. Daisy! Daisy's gone! A giant spider! Okay, I just gotta lock the door. Lock the door, turn off the light. She won't know we're in here. Yeah, that, that's a good idea. Okay, baby Kara. We have to think of a way to escape the house. I like baby Zach. Baby Kara, you haven't been listening to me right now? There's a creepy monster in our house. It named baby Zach. There's obviously no getting through to my little sister. All right, um, j just get on my back, baby Kara. She's not looking! Let's go! What are we doing? I'm tired. Just, baby Kara, we gotta go to the police station and get help. <laughs> get back here! <laughs> ah! This is the craziest babysitting experience of my life! Oh, good morning. It looks like you definitely need to be here at the salon. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Well, your hair is just a little out of date. Out of date? This hairstyle is amazing! Um, no, you definitely do need a different haircut. Um, are you Molly? Yeah, I'm here to have a pedicure and not get my hair done. Well, um, can I recommend that I just shampoo and condition your hair and maybe give you a more up-to-date style? Um, I don't know. I've had this haircut, like, pretty much my whole life. Exactly my point. Your hair just needs a little updating. Come on, sweetie. I know what I'm doing. I just got out of beauty school. Well, does that mean you don't have very much practice? No, that's not what it means at all. Okay, yeah, it kind of means that. But trust me, look at my hair. Doesn't it look amazing? Well, it's a little bit, um, bright for my taste. Trust me, it's going to be amazing. Ow, that water's too hot! Sorry, <laughs> I've only washed people's hair at, hair at hair school. I can tell. Um, it feels like you're cutting a lot of hair off. Am I going to be bald at the end of this? No, of course not. I hope, anyway. You don't sound very confident. Um, yeah, your hair's going to be beautiful, I promise. Just don't look in the mirror till I'm done. Okay, what do you think? My hair is... 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 It's pink! Um, yeah, uh, no, I don't need to look like cotton candy. Please change it. Okay, I thought it was adorable, but whatever you say. What about this? I put some highlights on the end. Whoa, it doesn't even look like me. I look like a superstar! <laughs> My sister is such a fashionista, she's not going to even believe this. Well, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Have a wonderful summer. Thank you, bye! OMG, look at me, I look like a supermodel. Daisy, Daisy, wait till you see my new hairdo. You're gonna be so jealous. Who's gonna be jealous? Why does it sound like I'm talking from the couch, but I'm actually standing over here? Who are you? Why do you look like me? Because I'm the better version of you, duh. The better version of me? Where did you come from? Wait a minute. Is that my iPad? <laughs> no. Now it's my iPad. Wait a minute. You're you're my identical twin? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to take over your life. 
Um, well, I'm not really sure you'd want it. I mean, there's a lot of homework in it and chores. There's also an annoying sister named Daisy. I don't care about all that. I just want to live here. This house is really nice. This town is really nice. And that boyfriend of yours seems really nice, too. Don't you go near Luke! Well, I have to apologize, Molly. I think we got off on the wrong foot. Yeah, you could say that again. You're trying to take over my life? Ooh, what's that? A shamrock shake from McDonald's? It sure is. And I'm giving it to you. Wow. Hmm. That tastes... Wait a minute. That tastes kind of weird. <laughs> That's because it's a special kind of drink. Wait, what? What's in this? This tastes really weird. Ew. <laughs> Too late now. You already drank it. What's happening to me? What? What am I? I, 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 I feel like I, I can't even be seen. Where'd you go, Molly? <laughs> Are you a ghost? Yeah, I am. What happened? If you're wondering what happened, <laughs> that drink I just gave you, it was, well, not your ordinary McDonald's shamrock shake. It basically had a potion in it to turn you into a ghost forever so I could take over your life. <laughs> oh my God, you're such an evil twin. Help, somebody help. No one can hear you. You're a ghost. Duh. Oh no. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Boo. Oh, wait, I'm a ghost. That's right. Time to sign into Molly's Roblox account and become a star Roblox player. <laughs> now, what would she use as her password? Hmm. I know. Molly, I'm home. Remember, I always use the computer right after school to do my schoolwork. Whatever. I don't care what you want. You must be Daisy. Of course I'm Daisy. Molly, what's gotten into you? And besides, you don't want to get grounded, right? Because it's my turn on the computer. Your turn is until 5.30. I don't care what time is your time. I'm on the computer, so go away! What? Molly, I'm calling Mom. It's raining, Molly. Okay. I don't really care. And also, you smell like poop. Molly, how could you say that? <laughs> Ew, Molly, that stinks. Hey, Daisy, what's up? I'll be home soon, honey. I'm just finishing up at work. Is this an emergency? Mom, it's a total emergency. Molly is being a brat again. Well, that's sort of like every other day, right, Daisy? I wouldn't call that an emergency. She won't get off the computer. She just wants to sit on the computer and play Roblox. And I need to do my homework. Okay, put me on speakerphone. Molly, this is your mother. Get off the computer. I don't care what you have to say. Well, Molly, do you want to hear me say that you're grounded and can't go to the water park this weekend? Oh, Molly's mom is kind of harsh. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll get off the computer. Um, Molly, you're acting pretty cray-cray right now, even for Molly. Has something gotten into you? Yeah, something's gotten into her. She's not really me. I'm me. Boo. Whoa, did you feel that cold draft? No, not really. <laughs> Maybe it was a ghost, though. A ghost? That's creepy. I don't like ghosts. You would like me. I'm your friendly ghost sister. Daisy, come on. This is an imposter. It's not really me. You have to You have to see me. Daisy, please. See me. Daisy. Boo. Oh, that's a breeze again. <laughs> I just better put on a sweater. It's a little chilly right now. How do I get Daisy to know that it's actually me and I'm a ghost? Wait a minute. I could try to move things around the house, and then she'd know something was going on. Maybe she'd suspect that evil twin isn't me. Um, um, wait. There's her birthday balloon. I could move that around the room, and then she'd wonder, who was doing that? Boo! Boo! Why is my birthday balloon floating around the room all by itself? That looks very strange. Must be just the wind. I mean, balloons don't move on their own. Oh, man! That didn't work. I'm gonna have to try something more drastic. 
I wonder if ghosts can write. Well, there's only one way to find out. Ooh, we can't. Okay, let me leave her a note. Daisy, I'm a ghost. Oh, this pen quit writing. I wanted to say I'm your ghost sister, but all it says is I'm a ghost. How did this get written over here? It says I, I, it says I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a g -g 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 ghost. That's right, Daisy, I'm a ghost. the Ghostbusters. Where's my signal? Oh my gosh, okay, here we go. Thank you for calling the Ghostbusters. We're sad to inform you that we will be on vacation for the rest of the month. What? You can leave a message after the beep, but you're probably going to be ghost infested till we get back since we're the only Ghostbusters in Brookhaven. Leave a message after the beep and happy ghost hunting. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck with this ghost. It's so creepy. Why is there a ghost in my house? I don't understand. I mean, I don't think we built this house on an ancient burial ground. Daisy, snap, snap out of it. Daisy, snap out of it. Ah, how is the fire extinguisher blowing all on its own? Ah! Boo! Daisy, it's me! Wait, that sort of sounded like Molly? What? Wait a minute. But... You were just here a minute ago. How did you die? What? <laughs> I'm not dead. I'm right here. This is an imposter. That's not me, Daisy. Please. She had me drink a, 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 a potion and now, now I'm a ghost. You're so spooked by ghosts, aren't you, Daisy? I really am. And the weird thing was is it sounded like you, Molly. What? The ghost sounded like me? Now I know you're cray-cray. Did you hit your head today? Do we need to go to the hospital? I'm beginning to wonder starting to feel kind of crazy. Well, come on, we should probably take you to the hospital. And then maybe you should move out. Move out? What are you talking about, Molly? Yeah, you need to live in like the crazy hospital or whatever because you're seeing and hearing ghosts. I do not, I'm not crazy. I know it sounded like my sister. I'm your sister. Are you sure? You seem extra crazy and rude to me. Daisy, please don't leave me in ghost form. I need your help. Help! Hey, what's this? Ooh, I left over share marching. Daisy, don't drink that. No! Ooh, don't drink it. Daisy! Mmm, this tastes, whoa, kind of real. Oh, no. Oh, no. The evil twin's gonna take over our lives, Daisy. You're gonna be a ghost too. Ooh. Wait a minute. What, what's happened to me? Same thing that happened to me. Molly? You, you, you're a ghost? Yeah, and so aren't you. Wait a minute. I thought I heard a ghost in the house. Yeah, well, turns out I have an evil twin that got us to drink a potion that turned us both into ghosts. And now she's gonna take over our lives. What? Yeah, she looks exactly like me. Ah, this is all of the news! See you later, ghosts. <laughs> that potion never wears off. Not ever. <laughs> huh, Daisy, we've got to figure this out. We can figure it out. Can she heal us right now? No. And it looks like she took off. Probably to take our car and use all our money to buy ice cream. That's what I would do if I was an evil twin. Oh, brother Molly, now what are we going to do? I don't know, live out our best life as ghosts? Molly! Well, that's all I can think of. Hi, Miss Smith. I decided to get to my dance class early just so that I could, you know, um, warm up, rehearse a little. Actually, I'm glad you got here early, Daisy. I wanted to talk to you about your performance in the last, the last dance competition. Oh, I know, I did amazing, right? Actually, I wasn't that impressed with your performance. Are you letting other things get in the way? Like, other, like, hobbies or something? What? Other hobbies? No, not at all. I mean, I have my science lab and stuff, but I think you need to learn how to focus on one thing that's your passion. I mean, it just seems like, well, you're sort of becoming a mediocre dancer. Wait, 
What? Why don't you take this dance class, um, go home, and really think about what you want to spend your time on. Dance is a very serious commitment. But I, I... Not another word, Daisy. I have to warm up for the class, but I hope you choose dance over everything else. Bye. I, 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 uh, okay, bye. I wonder what Daisy is. Oh, yeah, that's right. She had dance class. Then who just came through the front door? It's me, Mom. I came through the front door. Daisy? Wait, don't you have dance class until 6 o'clock? Yeah, but Miss Smith kicked me out. Wait, what? Why would she do that? Because she said I wasn't committed to dance and my performance at the last competition was mediocre. I'm going to my room to take a nap. This is ridiculous. Okay, Daisy, well, let me know if you want to talk about it, honey. I can't believe it. How can my dance teacher say that? I'm so committed. And besides that, I'm one of the best dancers in all of Brookhaven. This is just, this is just, ugh, making me so mad. I'm going to take a nap, just like I said, because I need to calm down. No, I don't. I'm angry. I'm angry. Daisy, Daisy. Mom wanted me to come talk to you, Daisy, because she said you had a really bad day and maybe you'd want to talk to me about it. I don't want to talk to anybody about my day ever again. Wow, harsh, Daisy. So, um, I'm your big sister. I might be able to help a little. Whoa! Daisy, what's going on with your face? It's, 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 it's what, Molly? Angry looking? No, Daisy, you're, 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 you're I, I can't even talk. I'm so, so freaked out right now. Molly, I'm just angry, okay? Leave me alone. No, Daisy, your face isn't just angry. You, 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 you're a big red panda. What? Okay, now I'm getting even more angry. I don't need your pranks right now, Molly. Why would you even say that? Because I, I'm telling you the truth. You, 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 you're a big red panda. Okay, I'm going to go look in the mirror. I'm telling you, you're being ridiculous right now. Okay, um, why is my sister a big red panda? Why is your sister a big red panda? Holy guacamole, I am a big red panda. How'd this happen? Ah! Daisy, okay, don't panic. I think we should go tell mom. But would I get in trouble for turning into a panda? Um, did you take some sort of weird potion? No. Then it's not your fault. I'm getting mom. Mom! Mom! Daisy turned into a big red panda! We need your help! What's all this yelling about? What? What you, Oh my god! Daisy! What, what, what happened? I know, that was my response too, Mom. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. She got the family gift. Family gift? What are you talking about? Well, it's only endowed to people who are very special in our family. We haven't seen the red panda in 50 years. The last one was your great-grandmother. Wait, what? Red panda? Okay, slow down a minute. We have red pandas in our family? That's right, Daisy. It's considered an honor to have the spirit animal of a red panda. <laughs> you must be kidding, right, Mom? Spirit animal red panda. Do I look like I'm kidding? Look at your sister. She's in fact a red panda. Well, how do I turn myself back? I don't want to be a red panda. Well, only you can figure out how to master the panda inside of you. Wow, that sounds like something a guru would say, Mom. Um, do you often give out some sort of like super good advice to people, Mom? Because you'd be really good at it. You could probably sell books or something. Molly, this is serious. <laughs> Mom's trying to give Daisy advice on how to not be a panda anymore. Oh, today couldn't be any funnier or weirder. I'm being serious, Daisy. If you want to control the panda inside of you, you have to learn out, learn what exactly makes the panda come out. You mean like what makes the panda show up? That's right. Knock, knock, is anyone home? Oh my God, it's Bucky! Don't let her see me this way. And don't you tell, dare tell her about this, Molly. My lips are sealed. Hey, what's up, Molly? Um, hi. 
Molly, why do you have a piece of tape over your mouth? No reason, but I can't really talk right now. Molly, where's Stacy? I want to ask her something. Um, I have a question about my homework. And it's about science, so don't say you'll know the answer, Molly, because we both know you're not a science expert like Daisy. Um, Daisy is no longer living here. What? What are you talking about, Molly? You're being so crazy right now. Pull that duct tape off your mouth. I can't, I can't. There's a secret. I can't tell it to you. Wait, what? Does it have to do with Daisy? Um, uh, it does. She's my friend. You better tell me, Molly. No, I promised I wouldn't. That's why the stock tape was over my mouth. And I'm sealing it back up. I can't understand anything you're saying, Molly. Tell me right now. Okay, I'm pulling the duct tape off. Ow, that hurt. Ow. Well, that'll learn you for putting duct tape on your mouth. Oh, man. Now I don't know if I can keep my mouth shut. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. So, tell me what Daisy's secret is. Nope, I can't. Give me back my duct tape. Molly, tell me right now. Okay, Daisy, Daisy turned into a giant red panda. It's our spirit animal. It was passed down in our family. The last person that had this curse was uh, 50 years ago when my great-grandmother turned into a giant red panda. There, you know everything. <sighs> oh my gosh, are you serious? That's the biggest prank I've ever heard. Oh, is Pookie gone? Oh, God, she's not gone! Daisy? Oh, my God! You were telling the truth, Molly! She is a giant red panda! I know. Huh. And now Daisy's gonna hate me for telling her secret. All right, let's go find Daisy and tell her that no matter if she's a panda or if she's Daisy, she's still my friend and I still love her no matter what. Me too. She's still my sister no matter what. Oh, there you are. Nice hiding spot. I'm just feeling very depressed. I can't talk to anybody right now. Daisy, you're my friend, and I'll always love you, even if you are a giant red panda. Now tell me how this happened. Well, I was very angry because my, my dance teacher said I was being mediocre at my dance competition. Wow, rude. That would have made me angry too. But I don't think you're mediocre. Maybe she's just a bad dance teacher. Maybe she's having a bad day. Or maybe she's just trying to blame um, the failed competition on you, Daisy. Yeah, I guess you're right. But the important thing to remember is, Daisy, you're loved no matter how good you are at dance, how good you are at science, or anything else. We love you as a person. Daisy? Oh my god! You're back to yourself! Yeah, Daisy. You don't look like a big red panda anymore. Really? Oh my gosh, this is amazing! But now I don't understand what makes me turn into the red panda. Well, I think that's kind of easy. It's whenever you become angry. The red panda comes out! Oh, wow, I never thought about that. Um, so don't turn into the giant red panda, but, um... I accidentally ate all your Easter candy. <laughs> Molly! How could you? Okay, yep. Anger definitely makes the red panda come out. Okay, running now. Daisy, don't try to kill me, please. Molly, get back here. Oh, man. It was worth the Reese Cups, though. Man, were those good. <laughs> Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Daisy? Oh my gosh, I've been looking everywhere for my sister and she's in baby jail? That's right, your little sister was very naughty. She stole a cookie at lunchtime and it was a chocolate chip one too, right out of the cookie jar. Daisy? That doesn't sound like you. Hey, excuse me, let me down. I don't want to be in baby jail. I didn't do anything wrong. Visiting hours are over in five minutes. Molly, I'm so sad. Aww. Daisy, what, what did you do? You stole a cookie and now you're in baby jail? I didn't steal the cookie, Molly. I promise I didn't. I was framed. Framed? What are you talking about? I don't even know what that means. Maybe you should read more books. Daisy, I'm a toddler. I don't know how to read books. Molly, it's awful. I can't believe it. There's a bully in daycare. And he said I stole the cookie. And now I'm in baby jail. 
Okay, time's up. Visiting hours are over. No, I just need five more minutes. Okay, five more. She is your sister. Daisy, tell me exactly what happened so I can find this bully and correct this mistake. Well, it all started when... Whoa, I'm so hungry. Hey, I've never seen you here before. What's your name? I'm Jenna, and I don't need to talk to you. Oh, okay, well, um, oh, don't stand up there. You're going to get hurt. You're not allowed to stand on the stools in the daycare. I don't care what the rules are here. I make my own rules. Ooh, are those cookies? <gasps> I bet there's lots of cookies in that cookie jar. <laughs> I'm going to eat them all. What? There's only one left? Well, it's definitely going to be mine. Hey, you can't just steal the cookies from the cookie jar. That's very naughty. Excuse me. Did you take the cookies from the cookie jar? No, it was her. She gave me this cookie to try to frame me. Daisy, you're going to go to baby jail. Wait, what? Me? kid i wouldn't do something like that really i wouldn't get over here daisy you're going to baby jail oh um okay follow me i don't think it's very good that the person i'm following his name is crazy lady i feel like this is gonna end really badly and i'm gonna be in baby jail forever and that's what happened molly i was framed and the flamo said that I flamed her. Holy guacamole. That sounds terrible, Daisy. I'm so sorry that happened. Don't worry. I'm going to take that bully down for you. Really? Uh, Molly, I don't think that's a good idea. Well, what's the worst thing that could happen? You could end up in baby jail like me. Oh, it's terrible. It's awful. Well, I don't think it's so bad. <laughs> you get three hots and a cot. What's that mean? Means you get three meals and a bed to sleep in. Perfect for a toddler like me. Don't worry, Daisy. I'll take care of everything. <laughs> Slime prank? <laughs> this will be perfect. Ugh, this daycare is so lame. I don't know why my mom and dad sent me here. There's Jenna, the bully that accused my sister of stealing the cookie when she did it. What? Why is all this slime going on my head? Ah! That's what you get for accusing my sister of stealing the cookie. <laughs> You'll pay for this, you little brat. Yeah, we'll see about that. No one's as good of a prankster as me. Excuse me, girls. Why is there slime all over the floor? Uh-oh, here comes the baby cops. Let's get out of here. Well, not you. You're a bully. You can go to jail. But I'm going up on the roof. <sighs> Whoa, I've never been up here before. This is amazing. Now I just have to bust my sister out of jail. This is going to be the perfect day at daycare. You just wait and see. First, I have to dress up like a grown-up. That's more like it. Now, let's see. All I have to be is a security guard. And then I can break my sister out of jail. Whoa! 199 Robux! She better pay me back with her allowance. Time to bust my sister out of jail. Hi, can I help you? I've never seen you here before. Do you even have a job here? Uh, yeah, I just got hired. And, um, I'm taking over for you now. You're, you're good for the night. Your shift is over. Okay, fine. Thanks. Oh, I finally can call my boyfriend. Um, okay. Wow, she just had a temper tantrum. Holy guacamole! I want that! Okay, I think you need to go in jail because you're being very, very naughty. Okay, I'm arresting you. I'm arresting you. Okay, that, that's enough. Stop. Ow, don't bite me. OMG. Is this kid, oh, now it's throwing up? Wow, I, okay, I just give up. You, you can have your temper tantrum. I've got to rescue my sister. Daisy? Daisy? Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Bad baby, can you put her in jail, please? Aw, oh, Daisy, I'm trying to rescue you, but 
Hold on, okay, I've gotta take care of this naughty baby. Naughty, naughty baby! She has a blocker on me, so I can't pick her up! Ugh, oh, this kid is such a brat. Yeah, I know, look at her. Oh my gosh, she's like possessed. <laughs> anyway, back to my original mission. Daisy, everything's gonna be okay. I've got the keys, and I can unlock this door! What do you care? You're just a toddler like me! No, I'm not. Look outside your door. <gasps> Mario Incognito! Daisy, I'm in! I just, I, I, I'm so tired, Molly, and hungry. I can't believe I got stuck in jail. It's okay, Daisy. I can, I can, I can bring you a bottle, and I can also feed you, and the whole thing. Wow, Molly, it's kind of cool that you're a security guard. You busted me out of jail and everything. That's right, Daisy. Now you should be better in the future. Wait, what? I, I totally got free. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, let's go downstairs and see what we can find for some snacks. Yeah, that sounds really good, Molly. Oh, I really am hungry. I can't believe I got stuck in baby jail. Hey, wait a minute. You don't work here. What? Uh, Daisy, we're going to have to wait on that snack. We've got to run! Molly, we can't leave daycare. That's against the rules. Daisy, do you want us both to end up in prison? Molly, hurry, they're gaining on us. Uh-oh, 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 my costume's falling off, Daisy. Molly! Oh my gosh, we're gonna end up in jail forever! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody. Great plan, Molly, now we're both in baby jail. Hey, at least I tried to rescue you, right? Yeah, I guess. I really want to go home! <laughs> Someone's having a temper tantrum. You need a nap. Get away from me, crazy lady! Well, Molly, you're gonna be in jail for a long time. You're not gonna get out on good behavior. I don't care! I wanna get out of here! 